Good evening, good evening. How everyone doing today? God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J, Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you a word on today and the topic is going to be our source. It's all you need. Then, now this is something I experienced, but it also um, something that David experienced also. You know, so um, the story is going to come from um, Psalms 22, 7 um, through um, 11. But first I'm going to um, talk to you a little bit before I get to the story. Now sometimes you trust other things to protect you, but it will fail you. It will fail you every time. I'm experienced of this whole story. Now you're a wall you facing. Without God, you will not make it. You cannot win no wall on your own understanding. You cannot do it on your own. You cannot think you got it. You know, you, you may think you got it, but you have to have God in your life. You know, so, um, but I had to get into a place in my mind. You know, because I used to trust in other things to protect me. And that will fear you. And God will tell you that will fear you all the time. That's why God always say trust him. You know, so you have to get a place in your mind that God is all you need. You know, I had to get to that place. I had to let it soak in my mind that God is all I need. He is our source and he is enough. But we have to get we have to get in that place that that he is all you need, that he is your family. He is he is your family. And you have to feel that in your heart that that's all you need. You know, so every solution, every trial I will face it, nothing is too big for him to fix or protect. You know. Because you remember, he get his glory and work better in your weakness. You know, he work better in your weakness. So no matter how big your stone is, nothing too big for him to fix. Nothing too big for him to fix or protect you. You know, just like Psalms 91, when you rely on your trust in God and when trouble comes, just read Psalms 91, 7. It says, A thousand might fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But guess what? It will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. You know, so no matter. If you don't have nobody in your life and you only have God and Jesus, that's all you need. You know, no matter if a thousand at your side. 10,000 at your right hand. Remember, you got an almighty power, God, that's on your side. You know, so um, so I will make a... So I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading from Psalms 22, 7 to 11. Okay, so um, all who see me mock, they insult, shaking their head. He trusts in the Lord. Let the Lord rescue him. Now, these are the people that mocking David. You know, so David also, you know, when we go through trial, it seems like we the only one that's going through it. But you have to remember, you have so many people going through the same thing you're going through. Sometimes theirs might be worse than yours. You know, so David experienced people mocking him. And they're saying he, because he's so into God. You know, so when you put your mind, and when you put your mind that God is all that you have, you know, sometimes people are getting mad with all you worrying about is seeking your Bible. You you seeking your praying. You, you, you know, so that's all David should do is seek God until they start mocking him. You know, let the Lord rescue him. They were saying if God is in your life and you you de dealing with this suffering and pain, let God res rescue you. So um, they said let him deliver him since he delight in him. But yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust and you even... At my mother's breast. Now, sometimes you can get frustrated. Now, it seems like David got frustrated. People mocking him. You know, he already gone through something. It might be the time he run running from Saul. You know, so he was saying that God was in his life since he was in his mother's womb. You know, and he's saying that God made him trust him. You know, and that God made him trust him, but then now he's dealing with these trials. You know, sometimes we, um, we might get mad with God. You know, because you feel like God allowed us to tell us to trust him. But guess what? He's still, he's still watching over us. Sometimes we're going through our trials. He's trusting our faith in building us up. You know, he built up David to be the man that he was. 
you know, to be over Israel. Because you remember, he, he got anointed, but he didn't get in place until after saw death. You know, so in between those times, he was letting, allowing David to go through his trials. You know, it did, you know, you got to go through your trials. You got to suffer pain. You got to suffer pain and suffering, you, you know, to, to build you up. You know, because look at Jesus. Jesus went through so much. You know, so God ain't going to allow us to just go to the um, kingdom without, um, without any kind of suffering or pain. You know, so also they say, from birth I was cast upon you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. So it's like, he's saying God God been in his life all his life. You know, God is all he know. You, you know, and you know God, um, David was a good man. You know, um, do not be far from me for trouble is near and there is no one to help. You know, so he think, he, he married with God, he think that what he going through, you know, people mocking him and stuff like that. He feel like God is not right there by him. But remember, through our trials, God is right there. God is always near, watching over us. He will make sure you're going through your trials, but he'll make sure that you still be alive when you wake up the next day. You, you know, but he feel like God is hiding his face and God not um, near him. Because he's telling God, don't be far from me. You know, so he think God far from him. Because of the trials that he going to, you know. So um, I'm gonna read um this commentary on the side in the study Bible. They said, "I will make her is with us," and that's what I just said. No matter what you're going to, God is right there. God is right there. He near you, you know. Like Job before him, David is called and mocked by those who watch him suffer. You know. Now sometimes you can have people around you going through your child. Just this allow this just allow you to go through the suffering. You know, he also said Joe went through the same thing. You remember Joe went through his trial and his friends came, they couldn't even recognize him. Now instead of his friends comforting him, they start mocking him too. You know, saying, oh um, you know, instead of them helping him, they're saying what he did. You know, so sometimes people can just look at you suffering. Just look at you struggling. It will not help you. You know, still them helping, they will criticize you. They will laugh and they will mock you. You know. But if God, he serve is so serving and powerful, where is this God now? You know, so they were always saying how powerful God is. You know, so they mocking him saying, if he's so powerful, where he at? You you know, so when God doesn't seem to show up when they would need him the most, does David um conclude as his faithfulness mockers do, that his trust had been in vain, or does he chose instead to affirm the evidence of God's faithfulness to him over the long haul? Now, David affirmed here that God has always been in charge of his life. Now, he said God had always had been in charge of his life, so why are you losing faith now? You know, now he said God been in life since he was a child that he could remember. You know, sometimes God ain't been in our life since we were a child. You know, sometimes we got grown. We got God in our life. But you had God in your life since you were a child. It's like David losing his faith in God because God didn't show up when he wanted God to show up. When the mockers was mocking and, and laughing, he wanted God to show show up. You know, and sometimes God would not show up unless it's really, really necessary for him to show up. You know, so sometimes when God don't step in right then and there like we want to, sometimes we may get mad and get frustrated. But we have to always remember, God is watching. He's near us. You know, he's going to make sure. He, he, he was near Joe. Look at all Joe went to. You know, Joe was in so much pain and suffering. When his friend came, they couldn't even recognize him. You know, but God made sure he was still alive. So through at the end of his trials, he was still alive. And, and God allowed him to be blessed more than what he had. He, he, he got devil. Because you know, Joe already was rich before um, the devil got in his life. You know, so God just tripled his blessing. He got a whole nother family back. More money, triple money. You, you know, he got his strength back. God renewed him. You, you know, so um, all the pain and suffering he went through. You, you know, he, he got it right back. So God always been in charge of his life, even before birth. But even as a small child, his confidence is renewed. And if anyone can help him now, it, uh, it can't only be God. So now he know that all his life, God been in charge in his life. 
And he said, anybody can help him, it's God. Nobody else can help you. You remember I preached on, on last week that Elijah had to prove to them that they are um, worshiping on false on gods. You know, they had to go, Elijah had to let them know that you could call out on that whatever you trying to serve, it would not respond to you. It would not save you. It would not rescue you. The only person will rescue you, protect you, answer your prayers, is the living father that's up in heaven. You know, so Elijah had to play a little game with them to let them know the only person can save you is the only true God. You know, so um so it can only be God. And who but our maker has been with us during every moment of our existence, preserving us and planning our life. You know, you have to realize God is planning our life. God knows our trial from the beginning to the end. And if one thing seems like it's failing, God will help um work things out. Because see God always working behind the scene. God is always up to something. You know, so always remember. That when it don't look right, it looking like you're losing, you're failing. Remember, God going to always work things out. You know, if God been a devil like since he was a child, he should never lose no faith. You know, that's a long time that God been in his life. You know, and remember when he got a, a teenager, he fight that giant. He didn't fight that giant with his own, own flesh. He fight that giant with the strength of God. You know, because we don't fight our own battle. You know, we don't have our own strength. You know, God give us the strength. To get through our trial, uh, a lot of time, you know, I was just just like last week, you know, I've been in my bad my trial for so long. So sometimes you start losing your strength, you know, and you have to ask God to give you some strength to keep on fighting this battle. You know, you got to keep on fighting until and and, and guess what, your battle will not be completely over with. Cause see, the devil gonna always be in a gap. As long as you God child, God the devil gonna always be in a corner waiting for you to slip up and mess up. You know, so you have to continue on praying and you have to realize your source is all that you need to protect you. You have to get to that place that he is all that you need. You know, I had to get in that place. I had to get in that place in my mind. You know, so now I know that that is all I need. You know, God and Jesus is all I need. You know, there's, there's my family. I don't have nobody call on me. I don't have nobody check up on me. It's just me. It, when, it, it, it doesn't matter if it's just you. When you got somebody that's powerful in your corner, that's all you need. You know, just like Psalm 91 said, you can have a thousand on one side. You can have 10,000 on, on the other side. A whole arm against you. But guess what? It will not come near you. You know, you might suffer a little pain and suffering, but God will not allow them to, to harm you in a serious, serious matter. Uh, you will, he will allow you to wake up the next day and be alive. See, it's a blessing to still be alive. It's a blessing to, to have God in your life. You know, you have to realize that's all that you need. And I'm, I'm a witness. Don't never put trust in nothing else but God. You see, when you put trust in something else, God will hide his faith from you. You know, but he will let you see that, that you're going to be falling and, 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 and getting attacked and all this kind of stuff. And he will hide his faith from you. Because he wants you to rely on him, not rely on other things to save you and protect you. Because nothing else cannot protect you. Nothing else. And, and if you put anything else before you, trust me, God will sit there and watch you on crumble. You know, he wants you to realize that nothing else can save you but him. So even before we knew anything about him, certainly God, who has always been intimate present, can be trusted to be faithful now and throughout eternity you know so when we put our trust in god you know he's saying he will he'll be faithful all the way to the end you know but we cannot be faithful to him just for a moment just for a week or just for a month and and, and then that's it then you got to start all over again building that trust with god because see god see once you stray from him he's gonna turn his head on you you know he turn he'll turn his head on you you know so he will he we will have to place it in our mind and rely on God. So when you feel when there is no one in your life, remember that God is always watching over you. And when you put trust in something else and not in him, he will turn his head, you know, until you get your mind right. You know, I'm a witness. You know, so, um, and you have to always realize God protect us. 
God watch over us. Nothing too big for God to step in. Nothing too big for him to fix and handle. You know, you have to realize Jesus also is mighty in power. We have to love, love both of them. We have to love Jesus because everything got to go through Jesus. You know, Jesus will keep you with a good mindset, you know, in your trials. So you need Jesus. We have to call out on Jesus, you know. Call out on Jesus to keep you in a good mindset, you know, because you your battle might be so strong. I don't know how big your battle is, you know, but you're going to need God and Jesus in your life. You have to realize that is more important than silver and gold. You know, and when you have, when you have them in your life, you don't need nothing else. You know, nothing else shouldn't matter, you know, but um, God and Jesus. You know, because they will keep, they will keep you with strength. They will renew your strength, you know, when your strength starts failing, especially when you've been in the battle as long as I have. I'm always losing my strength because I'm not only fighting enemies, I'm fighting the spiritual warfare. You know, so it's, it can be draining and, and complicated and, and hard sometimes to keep on fighting. But as long as you stop, you letting the devil win. So you, you guys got to keep on praying for them to give you strength. Give you strength. So when we, um, so when we talk about God protection, now you would, you would need peace, a peace of mind. You have to place it in your mind. That God is all you need to protect you every night when you go to sleep. You know, um, you will, you have to place faith. You have to put faith in God. And when you go to sleep, you have to put that rest in the Lord. You know, because see, the Lord going to protect you. The Lord going to keep you with a good mindset. You know, Jesus is mighty. Jesus is mighty. And he will do that work in you because he's sure doing it with me. You know, he keep me humble. He, 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 he keep my mind intact. You know, that's what keep me going. You know, because if you try to do your body on your own, if I would have kept on trying to do it on my own, I would have been I would have been gone a long time ago. You know, you have to you cannot do it on your own. You know, we cannot handle our battle on our own. You know, we can't rely on our own strength, our own understanding. We have to rely on God. You know, I'm so glad I put God and Jesus in my life because um uh, me was doing it by myself. I was, everything was just, you know, the battle is, is worse, but without God in your life, you'll be dead. I'll be gone. You know, so I'm glad I put them in my life. And I'm very pleased and I would not go without them in my life. But, you know, at the same time, you got to still read that word. You got to keep on praying. You can't just say, I'm going to have God in my life. You know, you got to still keep his word inside of you, you know, and praying. You know, so too we talked about trouble is near. When trouble is near, you know, I don't care if a thousand on your side, ten thousand on your side, it will not come near you. When you rely yourself to trust in the Lord, you know, no matter how army will be against you, it will not come near you. As long as you got God in your life, but if you try to do it on your own and you got an army against you, you will fail. You know, you will fail. So three, we talk about realize that God is more important than silver and gold. You know, when you fix your mind and realize that's all you have in your life, that's all you need. You know, the source is all you need. That's all you need. When you realize, you know, when you, you feel like nobody ain't calling you, you know, nobody ain't checking up on you. You know, that's okay. That's okay. You know, you just keep on, on reading your word. You keep on praying, keeping God in your life. You know, that none of the other stuff doesn't matter. You know, before we talk about no, no solution, no situation, no problem, it's not too big for God to handle. You know, sometimes we might think our bad is so big that you feel like God can, you know, handle it. You know, because I, I'm, I'm going through so much. You know, but then when I read this Bible... You know, God had to keep on saving Jesus when he was just a baby. Because you know how valuable um Jesus was. You, you know, you know, so a lot of prophets, look how Elijah was running. Because running, they hadn't killed all the prophets. You know, when you value to God, God going to constantly keep on trying to protect you. You know, because then when I read this Bible, it's like every time you look around, you know, they want to kill the prophet. You know, Elijah was the only one that survived and ran to a cave. 
you know, you know so we have to you have to stay praise up you have to stay praised up at all time and you have to keep going in your life you cannot do your battle on your own strength on your own understanding you know you thinking you can do it all you know i'm a witness i thought i could handle the battle on my own years ago you know so i had to realize man i can't do this by myself if i would continue on trying to fight a battle by myself i would have been gone a long time ago you know so you got to have that high and mighty god when you got just God and Jesus in your life, no matter how an army against you, you know, they cannot be the power for God. You know, so we have to we have to realize that God is more than silver and gold. That God protects us, that God watch over us. And Jesus always keep your mind in perfect peace. You know, so I hope you enjoy this word and remember that if you're in a trial, you're in a battle. And you feel like you're by yourself, you know, because a lot of us chosen, we are, we are alone. You know, we are alone. And I do a lot of um, reading alone, do a lot of praying alone, do a lot of my research and putting my material alone. You know, so you got people distracting you, a lot of stuff won't get done. You know, so I'm, I'm balancing everything off, you know, and I love every bit of it, you know, because I have so much time on my hands. To do what I need to, what need to be done, you know. So you feel like nobody calling you, nobody checking up on you. That's good. That's fine. You know, as long as you know that God is watching over you. You know, as long as you know that He watching over you. Just keep on praying and doing what you need to do, and God will keep you on that path. He will keep you on that path that you should go, because He sure is got me, got me through. You know, just we got to open up and let God in. So uh, I hope y'all continue on having a blessed day, and I hope you enjoy this word. And remember that God is always watching. He's always watching over you. He will protect you as long as you keep God in your life. Have a blessed day.